Yesterday we took some words and we just want to take a look at a few ways that these words are used and meaning changes just a little bit and then we'll talk about the issue of As-Salamu, the Salam with Alif Lam and Salam One, Salam without Alif Lam. Yesterday, we took a few words. We started with Sabima. Sabima. Yes. Then we went from Sabima to Salama. Then after that, we talk Mala Salimo. These words here that study math means yani be safe. To be on arm. Salama means to and Mada make safe. Make safe. He cut the code and he to deliver. Just means to he deliver. something to make notification of. Then you have to leave. Yani to be in a sound state. Be and clean. Work. 
that as a three. Also say the next time. And he might have fit or healthy. Or how can that mother and he have fleet? Took a few more words outside of this, and we'll take them. Inshallah, with the battle for the out here, Sunday night. And Sunday night, as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam took in the hadith last night, that the Akhwah who feed. المسلم لما قال المسلم من سلم المسلم من سلم المسلم 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 على سلام من وصوابا سلم مسلمون he make يعني say say to be unharmed al muslimun the muslim min lisanihi from his tongue wa yadihi and from his hand prophet mentioned salima in the hadith salima when he stands and he can be safe to be at harm al muslimu the muslim and he khaslatuhu wa deenuhu wa saluka muslim his ways, his manners, his creed, his belief, wa adabahu, his actions, man salima muslimuna, he makes the other muslim salima, to be safe from harm, from what? To be sanity, backbiting, saying something about your brother, if he was there, he wouldn't like it, he's backbiting. Saying something about him behind his back, if he were in your face, you wouldn't say because you know it would offend him. Backbite. Talking about shortcomings, ayyub, yani ayyub, ayyub, yani in the ayyub and that, making him look bad in the eyesight of the people. His religion is like this, or his character is like this, or he's lazy, or he's this, he's that. This is the opposite of Salima. Making him safe, making it unharmed, his honor, his reputation, his name from your tongue. Um, and yet he is striking him, grabbing him, pushing him, making him safe from the harm, salima, of the tongue and the hand. Safe. has mentioned, and I've also mentioned the word salima. Is the first word. Then you have Salama. We said whenever a person mentions the Prophet's name, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallama. This is the word of choice, not Salam. They say it and this is the mistake. Because Salam, Yani Tahiyatan, greeting that you actually say to an individual. And Mahada, this yani, you're asking Allah to, yani ma'la, to make the prophet safe. Fi qabrahi. Fi yawm al on the day when we are raised. Yawm al qiyama. Day of gain, the day of loss. Yawm al shafa, the day when the prophet will have a word with Allah on the behalf of his ummah. Amma salam, that's al-an, that's when you're alive. Hiyyatun, 
وأحيانا السلام بارك الله فيكم لأموات. Sometimes it's for the, the ones in the grave. But you understand the prophet taught us that. As a way of going to the grave. But typically speaking, when you use salam, and he, you yourself will make an invocation for that person or greetings for that person. Amma salama, this is the act of making. Salama, and this is when you. You're asking Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallama, to make him pray. Meaning, now and in the future. This is a stronger version of and he asking that for the Prophet. If you use the word alayhi, then you can say salam, because you're saying upon him something. Alayhi salam. But when you use the word salama, it's as they say ala to it. It's free of having to use yani alayhi meaning upon him. It's already included and it's understood that it's going to be upon that person because it's the act of making somebody safe. Just like you say kafara, we take the word kafara and say kafara. You're actually deeming. Making somebody disbelief. Here, salama. Actually, man, you're making someone safe. You know, salama. So here, salama is the act of making. Different from salima. Actually, the act of making. Salama, you say, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You look at the book and you see how they write it. It's salam. Salam, not salam. Then you have Salimon. Salimon. Here we said Salimon. Yesterday we said it means a state of being and he pure, clean. And he being um, in a way that you avoid from any taint in that state. And the Bible who was Allah we had mentioned. The Quran talks about Ibrahim and said, Yom ala yanta umalan. Yom ala yanta umalan. Wala banun. Yom ala yanta. Yoma. That means yani, a day. Yom. La yanta. You won't benefit. Yanta is something to benefit. La yanta is the opposite of that. Won't benefit. La yanta. Doesn't benefit. Allah said, Yoma la yanfa'u, and he mentioned two things. Malun, that's your nafus, your cash, your currency. Say, palus. I have used this word, palus. And then that's palus, or money. Guys in Baltimore, they say, scratch. Mm -hmm. Man, I ain't got no scratch, it's my money. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got no scratch, man. Scratch, yeah, I'm itching. No, 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 you ain't got no money to fall. Scratch. <laughs> Some people say, man, I ain't got no bread. Oh, guys, you sick of bread. People call it cheese. No, my lion fell mad on Sherman. This day and time, this, everything is about money. Even the government, the society, the wars, and he hiding the truth. Everything is about Milo. It goes back to that principle. What happened on? The known is your offspring, your children, your sons, your daughters, your lineage. I said the one benefit. Except the one case. From Yom Qiyam, his heart is pure from any sin, any shirk, any wanted to do wrong. He made his heart devoted only to Allah. If he made a mistake, Fatabah wa Hada. He made repentance. I'm not going to do it no more. Allah, forgive me. I feel bad. Make me strong. And he leaves it, and then he's guided. Salim and Salim. Fatabah min al-Zambi. Salim. Yani, Allah, Allah. The Prophet said, 
They can repent us from a sin is like we never had the sin. And yet the shocks be husband, It helps the person to achieve your husband. Also, Saleem is mean down. If you talk about a person's creed, they say, Wallah, Aqidah to who Saleem. Aqidah. From the word Aqadah, when you tie a knot. This is where you get Aqidah. means what your heart has sold in it. A belief. So Aqidah, sometimes it's Saleem, or Ghayru Saleem. Either Saleem is sound, or it's not sound. Like these people listened to some documentary last night. They were talking about Satan. Man, you wouldn't believe all of these different perspectives that people had about Satan. Way off. Even the people of the Jews, only people of the Israelites, the Hudiyah, Monosoraniyah, the Christians, the Greeks, the Romans. Who knew how they believe in the all of them far from the truth. Some of them called the army Shaitan, he's the bad God. What I have been like. Bad God. Some of them said he's the God of darkness. Then there's the God of light. Some of them said, of course, he was in the heavens. He was an angel or amongst the angels. And that's the first time I heard them say, or amongst the angels, like in the past. The most now, the predominant thing, he was an angel, fallen angel. Then some of them say he was not a demonic figure at all, as Allah Tabarak was out allowed him to do what he wanted. And they mentioned the story of Job, I used in the Bible, where it said he's only grab, he's only uh, uh, grateful that Allah Tabarak was out to mention him as solving, being patient. But in that version, they said he's only grateful because he has a good life. So the Bible says, I was okay, I'll allow you to test him just to see. And he caused him all kind of havoc, sickness, loss of this, that, and the third, and he held strong. So in that narration, those people in the Bible, they say in that case, Satan wasn't a, a bad, he wasn't demonic, he wasn't a person, fire bound, he was just someone that God gave the ability to test him. All of these, the yeah, I mean, show that their Aqidah is not not the not I'm not a Muslim Sadiq, a true Muslim, a Muslim, ala al-ilm, insha'Allah Aqidah to who These are a brief look at the word we took yesterday. We also you can use it to be fit, healthy. If somebody said, Kifa, Kifa, Kif halu, it's mashallah, and it's a lead. No good. Kif halu, hal means your condition. It's general. That word right there, you couldn't go in and use that word saying that there is an encouragement. This is not a salim hadith. You couldn't say no, that. So lead, no, salim no. No, it doesn't fit in there. No, it doesn't use, they don't use it like that. You talk about creed and action, but yeah. the material is either sahih or a regular sahih. The meaning is close, but they don't get it. Let's talk about the status yeah. Yeah, yeah, But see, that's why it's important that we're doing this, I'm showing you in Arabic. Yeah. Because you will say, well, in English it means right, something yeah. is good, and you just try to use it, but yeah. it's, it's different. Say it. Yeah. Any questions? Waldeh or Lisa Waldeh? Waldeh before means clear. Yesterday I asked Dawood, I was like to see the shackle, huh? The shackle means confusion. <laughs> no, he said, Waldek. I said, Waldek. I said, Oh boy, see the shackle. Exactly. <laughs> Any questions before we read? On, on Salim. Ah. So, many people have the name Salim. Right? Ah. So, does that mean the same thing over here or is it different? Yeah, same thing. You can say Salim one we mentioned just today. I mean, it's just the issue of leaving the last um, letter unpronounced with the vowel or not. When you say Salim or Salimun, like you say Muhammad, it's not Muhammad, it's Mu. Many people say Muhammad. 
Poxa, mas nem mar. Aqui não é mar, é muito bom. Muhammad, não é mar. Eu digo que tem Muhammad Doni. Muhammad Doni é o que está. Muhammad, yani, nada me justa que não é o que está. O que é correto, o que é mais próprio é Muhammad Doni. Muhammad é o Rasul Allah. Muhammad Doni, o que é 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 o que é. يا علي علي يوني بس ما كده يجيب الكعب شو سليم يجيب السليم ون إن المين سموه بو سليم سبيت كيف ويل كيف داون كيف في بيتستيت كيف هالك كيف بيرد هذا سافتي لاب مجنون يعني لايك تيل اوف بي سليم Someone who's intact, who's complete, or hacker. Now, we also we will go to Salah. What time is it now? Five minutes to eight. We started late, we're actually free late. What are the seven people to do? Have Ila means Yani Mada two or we also have Nani Mada Ala. So if we take Salima, we're using it in a sentence, for example, these different ways. First one, Salima Ila. Second one, Salima Ala. And the third one, Salima Min. That's Salima Ila. Salima Ala. Salima men. You say Salima ila. Salima ila. Salima ila. Salima ila. Salima ila. You have Salima ala with the ayn. You fill it in the middle of the throat. Salima ala. You say Salima ala. Salima ala. Salima ala. Salima ala. سلم على سلم على. You have men. Men. سلم من. You say سلم من. سلم من. سلم من. سلم من. سلم من. سلم من. You take سلم إلى. We mentioned before. What's the meaning of Salima, Abdul Rahim, Abdul Rahim. What do you have for Salima? Salima to be pure. Salima to be pure. Salima. Be safe. Salima to be safe. Mashallah. Salima Abdul Hafiz. What do you have for Salima? From your notes. To make safe. To make safe. What else? Make safe and to deliver. 
It's a devil, mashallah. What do you have on Salima? Zmir. Salima? Hmm? Be safe. Be safe. Be unharmed. Be unharmed. Barakallah. So, you guys gave me some words that were the same, some that were slightly different depending on the context. So, let's take Ila, which means sword. Let's make like this is a gun. This is a 25 automatic or a 38 automatic. And you come with me, Rahim. Okay. Now, I have this. It's in my possession. You want me to Salima. I need this. Salima. So, Salima, Ila, that means I hand it over. So, Salima, Ila, he hands it over. Salima, Ila, I hand it over. Salima, Ila, he hands it over. So, Salima, Yani Mada, towards. An individual or to deliver or surrender towards the individual. And this is the word Salim I use with Ila, towards somebody. You know, you give you turn over your weapon. This is Salima, Ila, towards the individual. If you say Salima, Ila also means we said to be flawless. But when we talk about and the way we understand it, to hand something over. Salima ila. Salima yani aslihatiku. Aslihatiku. Allah mentioned. Salimu aslihatiku. And to turn over your weapon. From the word salima. When we talk about Allah. Salima Allah. Salima Allah. Change it to Salama. The act of doing something. Salama. You change it from Salima to Salama. Then this is the actual yani, action of doing it. We just did Salima Ila, it's making something safe. Yani, or yani, something being safe. Yani, it's already turned over. So I use that word wrong. Then to Salima. Salima, yani, past tense, already yani, safe. But Salima Ila means you turn something over. So I had the wrong word. I didn't realize how the Salama yeah, is the act of making, turning something over. Salima is already a past tense, yeah, I mean, and it's already yeah, I mean, something that is done. When we say Salama, you're in the act of doing it. You're making, so you're making the transfer. You're handing it over. It's not already handed over. He has it. You're handing it over. That's the difference between Salima Ila and Salama Ila. That was a mistake I made because I didn't realize you changed the word. Salama. Salama Allah. Look at Allah. You ever see um, a father with his boy? Maybe the boy is two or three. He has the boy there and you approach and you say, Salama Alaikum. You say, Wa Alaikum Salam. And you look at the boy and he says, Salam. Salam. Telling him, commanding him to tell you salam alaykum. Here, salama, salama ala, that means you're giving yani a greeting, a salutation. And that's why when you use it, talking about the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa sallam, because you're actually giving a greeting to the Prophet 
while at the same time you're asking Allah to bow for what the Allah to salute him on the day of judgment. But if you say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that's different. It carries a different meaning. Salama, we're talking about Allah, it carries the same meaning as Salam. When we're talking about Allah. Because without Allah, then the meaning changes. Changes. And this Salama, Allah, is when you're using it as a greeting. So when you're saying Sallallahu, Sallallahu is Dua. When we make Salah, the literal meaning of Salah is to do like this, Oh Allah. But instead of doing it like that, we say Allahu Akbar, we glorify Allah, and we stand like this. And then we recite the Fatiha, and in the Fatiha we say, you know, Sarah al Mustaqim. That's the Dua. We just have our hands like this, and we're saying it with other things that glorify and remind us of Allah. So, Sallallahu, you are asking Allah, in this case, Dua for the Prophet. Alayhi is the word Allah with the ha and alayhi. This is alayhi here with the ha, which means he in English. It's not written like that, but that's what makes up alayhi. You have to add the ha and the ya. So when you say sallallahu alayhi, Wa sallama. Wa sallama here. Talking about to. Towards him or upon him? Upon him. Upon him. In his grave. Yomal Qiyama. And he says sallama. Means the act of making someone safe. You ask for Allah. Make him safe by using sallama. Strong word. Then you have Salama men. As we use in the hadith. Salama men. Salam said al Muslimu men salima. Men salima Muslimun men. From the harma. So ila towards. You give it towards you. Handing it over. Allah putting it upon that person. It's greedy. Salutation or a invocation. He be, and he have this upon him in his life and his situation. And then men means the opposite. He's free from. And all of these are salama. The word which we use here to be and to be made to make someone safe. The act of making safe. Clear. Clear. Can you use this in a sentence? The Salama Allah and Salama Allah and Salama Men. Hey. You have this diagram. Have it. Sure. You got to say uh, Salama Men. Salima Men. Salima. Salima Men. Wait a minute. Salima Men or Salama Men? Which one are you asking about? Yeah, okay. This one is Salama. 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 Now, the bottom, that's Salima, man. Right there. This one? Yeah. This is men, yeah. Salama, men. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Salama, men. Where is this Salima? Or Salama? These words like Ila, Ola, Men. They don't change their meaning depending on the context, right? They do change the meaning. They do change the meaning. Yeah, that's why we got these here and we wrote them so you can see that. Salama is to make somebody yeah. safe and to make someone yani, yani, um, delivered from something. But when we're talking about from, we just mentioned that in the context. To make someone deliver. How do you deliver? You, just re you save them from. from. So this yani, becomes clear when we put men here from, deliver from evil. Salama men, min shaf. Salama shaqsun. Salama shaq, salama, yani mada shaqsun min shaf. They deliver a person, an individual from evil. 
sallama yani sallama silaha ila shurti hand over his weapon to the police wa sallama tasliman kathira he used to say salams upon the prophet Allah all of these change because of that ala min or right before clear you got to change inshallah inshallah one of the reasons i'm doing this is because when we talk about islam people normally say it is a religion of what abdurrahim that's what they say what do they normally say abdul hafiz about islam they say islam means what generally speaking islam means peace that's normally what they say what would you say same thing right but when you look at these different words you have to ask yourself from a knowledge based perspective is that really the case is part of islam that you strive to make security and peace and that you and we were talking about and um islam tafdeel it is a noun that shows preference so we prefer to have peace and security because what that is going to be the case in general who is the one general because it's going to be safe and security no turmoil no worries no so yeah, this has to be a part of Islam that you strive for that, you like it, you work towards it, if something breaks out, you make peace, you fix it, do this and that. But is it a religion that says this is the religion of peace? What do they mean by that? What do they mean when they say that? What do they mean? What do you think they mean when they say Islam is the religion of peace? What do you think they mean? Yeah, based on your readings and your understanding, what Tell me, what do you think? I, mean, I think that means to sort of water down and marginalize a big part of the religion and ignore the fact that you can't just sit around and have peace. There's got to be work, there's got to be jihad, there's got to be struggle. And I see that peace thing. It marginalizes that whole message. And I make the bomb that you know, what it used to be when you talk about the, the interface, you know, just try to make the bomb that little safe thing that fits in a new package that doesn't, you know, doesn't threaten falsehood, it doesn't threaten you know, <laughs> the <laughs> 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 wow. I mean how many seconds is that? I mean I'm gonna have to do a whole football to get that out. Deal with the guy. Mashallah Allah bless you. That's excellent. So when I need you to help edit books and so forth you you have to sign might be some money involved too no, really, this is, when we're talking about delivering something to the people, mm -hmm. you have to be able to give it to them where they can just like drink it and understand it. I mean, he just took them, subhanAllah. What do you think they mean, Shaykh, from your experience, your knowledge, when they say Islam means peace? Well, from my experience, I think Islam means peace. And when they say peace in Islam, peace means submission to do the will of Allah. So I'm saying I'm 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 getting the picture that that it just can't be peace by itself. You have to be peace with submission to the will of Allah. And that and by you only have you only obtain a peace by your submission to Allah. So I'm thinking that's the peace in Islam that that, that I understand. But do you think that's what the people mean? Not your understanding. You read, alhamdulillah, you know, oh, the uh, when they yeah. say on the news mm -hmm. and the media, mm -hmm. Islam means peace. What do you what do you think and understand that they mean? Not you. That's a good definition. You're talking about the inner peace that you get from obedience and doing what's right. Yeah, this is a part of it. But when they say Islam means peace, what do you think they mean on national television when they say that? When they're with the Congress and they say that? And the magazines and the rallies, and they yeah. say Islam means peace. What do you think they mean? I think they mean, oh, Islam is a peaceful religion. It's a, it's a, it's a peaceful religion. Uh, for Satan. I'm doing that. Mir. 
What do you think they mean? What they mean is peace. It delivers peace. And uh, the teaching that we have is what makes us uh, live at peace. So, based on the teaching, that's what it says. Um, Islam teaches peace. Islam teaches how to, how to make peace in the society, in the religion, in the entire world. So, basically, how to teach it. So we have three different uh, response to what we may understand or think they mean when they say Islam. Inshallah, you guys go do your homework and then next week when you come back, we'll talk about that. Inshallah, and light up what you find. Inshallah. Salama. <laughs> Ahmed Salama Salama Ahmed Salama Ahmed Ila Salam Ahmed Ila سلم أحمد سلاحه إلى شرطي إلى شرطي سلم يعني أحمد is making يعني hand it over is an act of doing أحمد do is the one who's doing the action is the doer what is he handing over? Silahahu. Silahahu. Silaha is weapon. This who refers to it or he? Say who means who what? But it's attached to a word, so it's just who. You don't have to say what. Who what becomes who. So, Salama Ahmadu Silahahu. Silaha without the who means a weapon. Silahahu. Refers back to Ahmed's weapon. Ila using Salima. I mean, not Salima, subhanAllah. So for the song. Salama Ila. Let me go to the diagram. Salama Ila Shorty, which means. All of those words they call them. Coco, pig, uh, holy, sugar plate. So if we say salama means yani, to make something safe, secure, then we add salama with ila and we say it means to what hand over, know? then we say salama ahmed. In English, the person comes first. He in Arabic, the action comes first. Salama Ahmadu. Ahmed turns over what? Silaha, a weapon. Silahahu, his weapon to who? Ila. Shortly. Which is.
Please. Okay. So, Salama Ahmadu, he's in the act of doing. Silaha, a weapon. It's anonymous. Silaha, who? He takes responsibility. His weapon. That who goes back to Ahmed. Shows possession. What is the possession? Silahahu. His weapon. Who does he salama ila? Ila man. Towards? Shortly. What is shortly? Police. So that's one way you use salama, the act of handing over something to. What else? Police sure. That's a sure, sure point. Sure thing. Okay, sure point. That's sure a ball with a gas. Sure, sure point. point. Okay. Ball. Oh, sure point. Sure ball. Sure point. It becomes sure point because of Eli. Or the sure ball. Anything that this comes after is going to have to be with Tesla. This case, sure point. Because it was sure ball. What's that happen? Now it becomes sure of faith. The guy is put there to make it the castle sign. Sure of faith. You're not sure of faith. So, uh, sorry, come again. You said anything that ends? Anything that comes after Ila okay. has to have Kesra. It's with a lowercase. Oh. Sure of faith is the origin with the uppercase. That's how. It became sure of faith because of Ila. That's a grammatical rule. You guys got it down. You got it. So, Rahim, Wadah. That's the law thing. So, Salama, if you go back, we say it to make. The act of Yani making something, Yani safe, secure. If you're talking about Yani adding and changing the content, then Ila sometimes means handed over or delivering. Because you're doing it, Ila means towards. If I'm walking Ila Masjid, I'm going towards the Masjid. So if I'm taking something and Salama Ila, I'm in the direction of. I'm handing it over, I'm delivering it. So Salama Ahmadu, Ahmadu. You could say Ahmed. You said Salim. It's Salimun. You could say Ahmed. It's proper to say Ahmadu. Salama Ahmadu. Silaha, a weapon. Silaha, who becomes his weapon. You drop this, it's a weapon. Could be he found it. It belongs to Abdurrahim. It belongs to Zahid. When you add who, it becomes possession. Salama Ahmadu. Silaha, who? Ila man, to who? Ila shorty. A policeman. Wait for me. So, uh, Mr. Bryson. Yes, and then I want to change the sentence. I'm um, born. Salama Ahmadu. So, yes, this is an act of doing it. You're doing it. Huh? So, now if you want to change that to Hassan, it will be Salima. Salima. So, it's going to be just that. Salima Ahmadu. Yeah. Ahmed turned over his weapon to a policeman. Okay, so Not in the act of doing it. Yeah. You want to change it to past tense. This is when you say Salima. Mm. We did already. The past. Modern. Salima mm. Ahmadu. Sila. Sila Hahu. Ila Shorty, Ahmed turned over his weapon to the police. He already did it. You don't see him in the act of doing it. He already did it. Yesterday, we saw a couple of acts. Day before yesterday, we were mobbed. he's doing it in the act of doing it. Handing it over as we speak. Yes. Yeah. Can I rate? Good? Yeah. 
You want you want you want change? You want to take this? You hand it past tense and write it in your notes. Past tense. You hand it over. Past tense. It's the opposite of salama. Very good question. By the way, when we talk about Islam as the religion of peace, and this would yani, uh, mean that you always salama aslihatiku, you always hand over your work. Yeah. One of the things why we say it's natural. Because sometimes Allah commands you to fight. Mm -hmm. So Islam was a religion of peace, meaning everything about it is peaceful and you can never defend yourself. You will always have to sallimu aslihatiko turn over your weapons. You can never fight. Because it's a religion of peace. Meaning, in that religion, in that way, is everything peaceful. So don't step on no toes. Don't disturb nobody. Don't make anyone upset. Don't defend yourself. As they say, I walk. We are Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to accept Islam. So does that mean now if you accept Islam, that means you train them that you should take and you should tolerate? No. There's some tolerance, but sometimes the tolerance runs out. Sometimes the tolerance is tolerating why you struggle to get rid of the one who is the annihilator, who wants to wipe you out. Even dogs and animals, they fight when they have to, when they're defending. Or when they're attacked, I, I should say, defend themselves. So, a you know, religion of peace, and a thought, this is a religion of permission. If Allah tells you not to fight, then you restrain because He tells you not to. If He tells you how to fight, then you fight with His rules and regulations. If He tells you, you need to speak up, even though people are going to dislike it, speak up. If He tells you, be quiet, be patient. If you speak up, it's going to make more problems, then you refrain. This is obedience. But as a religion of peace, Allahumma hey. sallam. Two more sentences and then inshallah. Or is this enough? You want to stop at Ila and do Allah and men on the next week. Is this enough? You want to do more? Ila? Okay. But see, this is how they play games because people don't know the Arabic. Mm. It's how they play games. And this includes some Arabs. They will argue down. No, it means peace because the origin of the word. Yes, the origin of the word is Salima. Yeah, it's Salima. And part of fighting is to make yourself you know, free from their yeah, <laughs> onslaught. <laughs> What are you going to do? People rent the prophet to the point he leaves Mecca. He left his hometown. Can you imagine that? Mm. The place he loved. He left. Sneaking out. Then uh, it wasn't enough. They said, okay, in Medina. They're not preaching that garbage. <laughs> they called it. They said, no, we're going to go and get them. We're going to have the people inside Medina plot. We're going to get them. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Salama Rajalun Anabi Ewa Ayawa. 
we'll, we'll deal with Iowa later. Iowa, some people said it's colloquial, meaning it's not pure Arabic name. But it's not. It's Quranic, it's Fusha. Iowa is a combination of emphasizing and swearing about something. Ayi wallahi. Ayi wallahi became Iowa. So when you want to say certainly, I swear that's it, like na'am is yes. Iowa is short for Ayi wallah. Yes, I swear. I swear to God. That's Sallama rajulun. The act of doing. Sallama rajulun. Amen, rajulun. Sallama rajulun. Alan nabiyyi. Alan nabiyyi. This is the prophet. This is the prophet. This is Himada in. In. Say it. Sallama Rajulun. Alan Nabiyyi. The origin of Al Nabiyyi is Al Nabiyyu. We said everything that comes after Ila and Allah must become Kesra. So An Nabi Yu becomes An Nabi Yi. Alan Nabi Yi. Hamakullah. Salama Rajulun. A man is in the act of. We said Allah here means Yani Hijja or Hijja. Salute, greeting. This is one of the things when you go to the Prophet's masjid and he's there, you give salams to him. This is one of the things when you go to the yani, Muqabbara al Mu'minin wal Mu'minat, the Muslimin wal Muslimat, the grave of the Muslim male and female. Say, Assalamu alaykum, Ya ayyuhal, Yani Mada, Ya ayyuhal, Al Muslimun wa Muslimat. Say salams all you Muslim male and female. He rewrites it as salamu alaykum ya ayyuhal mu'minin wa mu'minat. Even men and women. You convey it to them. Meaning salama. Asking Allah to make them yani in their state of state. From a punishment of the grave. The restriction of the grave pattern. Sallama rajulun. A man is in the act of making. Yani, in this case, salam is the meaning. But you don't say salam. Sallama. He's in the act of saying assalamu alaikum. Sallama rajulun ala nabiyyi. A man is in the act of making salutations upon the prophet. C is N. If you connect C to Al Masjidu, this is the origin. Al Masjidu. Becomes Al Masjidi. Because everything that comes after C, Allah, and we said Ila, they have to take Kesra. You know, you're learning something. Four things. Men. Ila. Ala C makes everything take cash. And there's more, but I'm just giving you these now because we're dealing with them with Sallama. Sallama Rajul Ala Nabiyi. A man is in the act of sending salutation upon the Prophet. Bil Meshjidi. In the Meshjid. Now you want to add this, which is who? That again means. It or he. It means he or it. In this case, also his. Fil Meshjidi, Fil Meshjidihi. In the Prophet's Meshjid. This refers to 
Now, I mean, the prophet, his possession was connected to him, and the jizz is where we worship. So, the Bible was out. Sallam al Rajulun al al Nabiyyi fi in. Fil Masjidihi. Man is in the act of sin and salutation upon the prophet in his masjid. In the masjid of the prophet in Medina. And unfortunately, it shouldn't be like that. But it is. They extended the masjid over the grave in disobedience to the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. told him, and Allah mentioned the prohibition of this in the Quran, but Allah let all kill him. This is an example of Sallama ala and he did Sallama ila. Sallama Ahmadu Silahahu ila Shurti. Ahmed turned over his weapon to a policeman. You could say ila Shurti with the Aleph Lam. Ila Shurti. Ila Shurti to the policeman. He said a policeman. And we have Sallama Rajulun Ala Nibi Fil Masjidi. The man is in the act of sending greeting, salutation. Sallama here means salam. There is the same meaning there. It's a greeting. Asking Allah to make him safe. He's asking Allah that about the Prophet in the Masjid. Fil Masjidi he and the Prophet's Masjid in Nabi. Wabah. Clear. Rahim, Fiche, Shakur, Allah, 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 Means you're in the act of doing. Rajalon is a man. Answer Rajalon. Answer. I'm a man. Hey, Rajalon, you're a man. Hey, Rajalon, hey, Rajalon. Answer, Hua, Anna, Rajalon, Yani, Phil, Mataam, Ofi, Madrasa, Ofi, Mateshva, Ofi, Kuwait, Ofi, Mosul, Ofi, Lubanan, hey, Rajalon, a man anywhere. Downtown, in the restaurant, in the hospital. Then, yeah, I mean, yeah, fill the masjid, that's a lot of fear. Any rajal, any man. Sallam al rajalun. Ala al nabi. Ala means a pawn. Pawn. Sometimes, ala means up. Here means a pawn, meaning conveyance, yeah, I mean, on someone's behalf. Upon him means on his behalf. Alan Nabi. Nabi Prophet. And Nabi U is the origin. It becomes a Nabi Yi because of Allah. Allah changed it to a Tesla. So we're in the beginning. And Nabi U, that was the origin. It became this. Nabi Yi because of Allah. Alan Nabi Yi. By saying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or by saying, Assalamu Alaika, Ya Ayyuhi Nabi, directly to him in the city. Sallama, the act of doing. Rajulun, a man is doing. Alam Nabi, the one who's receiving that statement or action. Where? Bil Masjidi. And Masjidu is the origin. Fi changes it, it's like Allah changes it to Tesla. Fil Masjidi. Fil Masjidi could mean in the man's masjid, in his city, where he lives, in his country, in his valley. It means he built it. Or he just won it's his masjid because he's a member of that city. But when we say Fil Masjidi, he, that goes back to the Prophet, meaning the masjid of the Prophet. And where is that? In Syria? Prophet's masjid is in Syria? Where is Masjid? Medina. 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 Ah. Like you said, without the he, the Masjid could or definitely would go back to uh, Rajah Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It definitely would go 
Okay. Yeah, because you said fil masjid, it could be in the masjid. It could be the masjid is here. It could be the masjid. Yani that he's visiting. It could be yani yani any masjid. But when we say fil masjid, he here is talking about the Prophet masjid. How do we know that? Because Salama, the act of making, you're doing. And there is a such thing as giving salam upon the Prophet, not in his masjid. It could be the man's masjid, as we said. Like when you come to this masjid, there's a dua that you say, salam from the Prophet. And Masjid he could be the one who's doing it, coming in his masjid, like here. But here, what we mean when we say this is to make it clear, Masjid he, this is going back to the prophet. Back to the prophet. So if you wanted to say, Yani, the man, Masjid, you could say that. But normally, because he's the one who's doing the action, this is going to reflect on the thing that's being done. The one who's receiving. Describing the one who is receiving this act. You will have to say in clearer terms, Yani fi mesjidi he, Yani, and then say fi mesjidi he, fi medina to monorawa, a medina to nabuya, to make it clear that. You're talking about he refers to the prophet masjid, but I'm making that yeah, I clear to you. And the Arabs speak like that to assume because yeah, I mean, you could speak by saying it like this, but it means that. So leaving it open without putting yeah, I mean, the Medina to the lower one, or the Medina to the Bawiyah, then he's going to be either his masjid or the prophet masjid. That's why I'm clarifying. Because it can mean either or. Unless we write at the end of this, then Medina to Nabawiya. Then we know for surety, he's in the Prophet's masjid. It could be he's stepping in the masjid with the Sunnah, and he says, Bismillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah, Allahumma inni asaluka iktali abawaba min rahmati. This is a dua, and he said salam on the Prophet, right? Going in his masjid, the one who's going to ask so what we mean when we make this, yani, what I'm saying is the prophet's message without writing to the Medina, to the Medina, to the Medina. I will have to write that to make it certain, but it could be understood that his message is the prophet, Medina, or his message. This is something you need to understand. If you speak it to somebody and they understand the context of the conversation you were talking about, I was on Umrah. And I was there, okay, it's clear he's talking about he was in the prophet's masjid. But if you just mention the statement without talking about I was in Saudi and I was on Umrah, it could be understood the other way around. So context is important. You got me? You with me? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah. And so, watch it because I'm going over today, but it's good, alhamdulillah, we get a lot down, we missed a lot. Thank you. That's all I That's a good question too you asked, Rahim. That means people are paying attention. Sheikh asked a question about is it Salama or Salima, because it would make a slip of a tongue. Mm -hmm. Zamir asked, what about if you use sentences like this or that? Salama. Wallahi and Ayyawa are one and the same. What? Wait, I said again? Wallahi. Mm -hmm. Ayyawa. No. Ayyawa Wallah is the origin of Ayyawa. It's like they took Ayyawa. And yeah, part of the word out. Ayyawa and Ayyawa Allah is the same. Wallah is different from Ayyawa. Wallahi. Wallahi, yeah. yeah. But I, 
is emphasizing with one lahi. You put the two together to emphasize. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wallahi is just swearing. Mm-hmm. The ayy is emphasized. So you say, ayya wallah. This is the last one. The statement of the Prophet of Allah alayhi wa sallam. Man salima. Salima. Okay. We mentioned the statement of the Prophet when he said Al Muslim. Al Muslim, the Muslim. Well, he's given a description of the Muslim. Man Salima. I know we're dealing with Salama, but I'm showing you something. Man Salima al Muslimuna. Muslimuna. Whoever makes faith, whoever, yani, makes faith the Muslim. Yani, we say it from the horn of his tongue and his hand. Here, the Prophet is Salima. Normally, we'll say it's past his verb or to make. This is the verb as well. Man Salima. Yani, he's actually doing the action. And here, Salama will actually in the act of doing that. He's showing you the description of the Muslim, the one who does this. But here you actually in the act of doing Salama man ghibatihi. Salama man ghibatihi. So here, we want to add take Ahmed, because we started with Ahmed. <laughs> they use certain names when they deal with examples. They use Zayd a lot. They use Ahmed. Ali in the Arabic books for a reason. Just because they're common names and they are good names. Everybody knows them. We have Salama Ahmadu. Then Salama, he's in the act of doing. Salama Ahmadu Jarahu. 
Can anybody tell me what is Jah, the name Jah? Prophet mentioned this in the Hadith. Jah. He mentioned it with the guest, which is Yani Saifa. Yes. Mentioned with something else I forget. Jar is the word for neighbor. Jar. Put this here. The word jar means neighbor. Yeah. Prophet Sallam he said, Man kana yu'minuna billahi wa yawm al-akhiri Whosoever believes in Allah on the last day Fala yu'adzi jabahu Then let him not annoy, harm, bother, disturb his neighbor It's from the side of the United States Man kana yu'minuna billahi وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ فَلَا يَأْذِي يَا رَهُ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ How many times do we go? Whoever believes in Allah last day let him not bother, harm, offend his neighbor. This includes the tongue. Here, سَلَّمَ أَحْمَدُ يَا رَهُ Ahmad is making he's in the act of making safe is in the act of delivering Jarahu, his neighbor. Jarahu. Jarahu. That goes back to Ahmed. So we're showing that this thing is related directly to him. And that's why we have to explain in the last one because that hack can go back to the one who's doing the action. But it could be understand the one who. Receiving the action we're talking about making it be. Sallama Ahmadu Jarahu Men. Here's the point of contention. Shahid and Hadha Men. Sallama Men. We did Sallama Ila. Towards. Hand over. Sallama Ala. Upon. Now we're going Sallama and Men. From. Sallama Ahmadu Jarahu Ahmed is in the act of saving, delivering his neighbor men. Ghibatihi. Ghibatihi. From his tongue. How? By backbite. Talking about his neighbor. Meaning? Shh. Not doing it. By not talking about your neighbor behind your neighbor's back. Sallama men ghibatika from your backbiting. Muna Ahmed Sallama Ahmedu Jarahu men Mada men ghibatihi. Ghiba, what you can't see. Ghibatihi, this refers to Ahmed. Just as this refers to Ahmed, it's Ahmed talking behind someone's back and it's his neighbor. He is saving the neighbor from that harm, meaning he is not doing it. So, men, who's from? The word Liba comes from the word Raba, means third person. If you're outside, and I don't know you're outside, at that point, you are raw in. You're not present. I said, yeah, man, you know the brother, and then you walk through the door. Now you're not raw if anymore. So, Biba comes from the world raw if someone that you can't see, but you're talking about. Raba, Yaribu, from the word. Raba, Yaribu, Ziba, something that someone is not there. So, when you talk about him, it's been called Ziba because. You're actually talking about something who's Raba Anka. They are not there with you. And this is why it's behind your back and it's called Riba, meaning Yanimada in the absence of their person.
and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messenger likened it to Lahm al Akhi, May 10th, even the flesh of your dead brother. To show you it's horrible, stay away from it. It's immoral, it's a very bad um, thing in society, and it causes all kinds of hatred, division, and sometimes conspiracy, which leads to murder. So, inshallah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, Sallama Ahmadu Jabahu men riba tihi, the issue with Sallama men to deliver, to save, to protect someone from some harm here, the backbiting, talking about someone, the harm of the tongue. Now, on the riba, <coughs> riba does that specifically mean you're talking bad about this third person, or is it talking about the third person? In which sense or bad sense? Yeah, I mean, because, uh, because the word it actually has the origin of right? So which means the third person, the, the person who is not here. So when you say riba, does it mean is it only the bad thing that you're talking about or a good thing as well? That's why, again, the Arabic is important, because this answer is strictly going to come from Arabic, thinking in Arabic words. If we take that in English, we will say, yes, it only means talking about him bad. Because you're talking about what he doesn't like. And most of the time, what is it that a person doesn't like? You talk about him bad. If you talk about him good, even if it lies, it makes him feel good. It builds his morale. But that's from English. Pay attention. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said in the Hadith not for forever. It's in Bukhari and some other than them. He said, Atadruna mal riba. He spoke to a group of people. He said, Atadruna mal riba to the group of people. You all know what is riba. They responded back to the Prophet. They said, Wallahu wa rasuluhu a'lam. They said, Allah has that knowledge in his messenger. Allah and his messenger knows best, meaning we don't know. What does Allah say about it and what do you say about it? The Prophet said, Al Riba, he's talking about Riba here, which he's asking the question, does it mean only bad things or does it include good things? Because the issue is in someone's absence. The Prophet said, Al Riba, Zikra Akhaka, Zikra, to mention. Zikra akha ka to mention your brother. Zikra akha ka bima yakbahahu to mention about your brother what he dislikes. Prophet Sallam he didn't say zikra akha ka bishab to mention your brother about evil. La call a zikra akha ka bima yakbahahu that which he dislikes, he disdains. So if you have somebody. He's saying, for example, about someone good, but he's going too far. Oh man, I've never seen somebody like this guy. This guy's the best person on earth. I'm telling you, man, there's nobody more truthful than this guy, man. SubhanAllah. He's like a saint. Even if he's the most knowledgeable, the most righteous of the people. And let's go back to them, the other Sahaba. Do you think the Sahaba would like if he walked in and heard somebody say that about him? Do you? What do you think? Too humble. Not too much. What do you think, Shay? Abu Herrera walked in and somebody was praising him like that. Man, he's so good. What do you think? I think he'll be alright. I think he'll be alright. This is why we bring this. To see, because some people will think, what's wrong with that? And barakallahu feekum. Wa la tuzakku anfusikum. Bikullah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa la tuzakku anfusikum. Allah said, don't sanctify yourself. Don't praise yourself. Huwa a'lamu man istiqam. Because Allah knows who really fears him. Those same sahaba would weep in the night. Why would they weep? Because they had multiple problems. They had to fix the law. <laughs> Hot sale, these are the medication they give you today when you cry for your emotions. 
they were crying because some woman ran off with all their money, fine with another man, stuff that people cry for when they did. They were crying because, you know, him and his brother got into a fight because he drank the last fifth of wine and he both alcoholic. They were crying because he went to work and they said, you know, here's your pink slip after 30 years in the job. What am I going to do? No. They were crying because they fear the law would punish them, young mm. And they were from the best of people. They were from the best of people. When Hodeifa was given a list of the Munafiqeen, from the first people that wouldn't say, is my name on that list? The Mubakr Siddiq. And had there been another prophet after me, guess what? So what's the point here? They would have been furious. And you have hadith where people were doing it. They walked in and they face changed. And they scolded them for raising them. So it's not only bad, but it includes what is good. For example, I give the khutbah. Allah must have If somebody came in here right now and he had more knowledge than me, I wouldn't have nothing. And I spent a lot of years studying, but not enough. Spent time in poor countries, places that people that have money and prestige are chicken to go. They are afraid. This is not bragging, this is telling you reality. I give a khutbah, I have to read, study, memorize, sometimes I write down, go over and over, over. I have to make sure I have the right understanding. I go look at the explanation. I listen to the Sheikh who was talking in Riyadh, what he said, to make sure I'm not far off, this, that. And I have to fear Allah. Can't get up there and tell you guys this, that, and I'm smoking. Allah must I'm Smoking is haram. I don't care what you think is haram. It's bad for you, anything bad for you. Haram. If you don't have girlfriends, well, they ask them. They have a wife. You can't see. It's enough. And if it becomes not enough, then I'll ask Allah, I mean, do I get another wife? Even if she's back. This is deep. You know what I mean? Don't you know I mean? waste my time watching things that will take me from the remembrance of Allah. This is, this is the life that I try to live. But even with all of that, I'm still afraid. I don't know if Allah is going to hold me accountable. Maybe inside I have a little bit I feel good. That's the God. I shouldn't feel like that. I should feel good. The hot was said, yeah, mashallah, I mean, but it's not. The first one is reminded is me. First one that's reminded. Wallah. If nobody comes to remind them. So don't want somebody after Khutbah to oh, mashallah, your Khutbah was very beautiful. Wallah. You know, and there's something called good character and, you know, humbleness, as he said. But, you know, sometimes I just want to say, you know, what, is that, what do you like, retarded? What are you telling me that's a good talk? This and that? What do you think, like, this is entertainment? You don't understand, like, you know, I can go to hell too. This is serious. It's just a good talk. That's it. But you can't be like this to the people. But I'm showing sure what's inside of me. Tell me, I need the reward. I need you to tell me the talk was good. You see? So this is an example how it could be something good, but you dislike it. So what about now it's behind your back? Consider So you have some of the books of the people of the past. When you talk about this, they mention too much praise as well. You may have heard the story they say, and they mention a, a slogan, don't break my back. To me, don't praise me too much. Don't break my back. You put in so much weight on me and praise, Yomu Piyama, I'm going to be punished because I didn't live up to that. You have a hadith, the prophet mentioned that. When, when the people praised him, they would say, Allahumma, la tu'akhidni bima yukulloh. Don't punish me for what they say about me. They raise me to a level that I cannot uphold. Please don't hold me accountable for what they say. And make me better than what they say about me. And there's another part I forgot. Three things he mentioned. Three parts. But that one definitely don't hold me accountable for what they say. They said, MashaAllah, he's fucking, he's righteous. A man could be a pastor. Preaching in the daytime and just going in the night. Well, y'all do it happens. Quran can go nowhere further than his throat. If you tell me he's mashallah, he's going to shake, all of he's falling. Allah, you're going to punish me, you're going to tell me. You're talking about racism. Oh, 
hold me accountable for what they say about me. But tell me, hey, remember my unknown. Make me better than what they think about me. For good and bad, that which your brother doesn't like. Sorry for taking everyone off the topic. No, this is perfect. I mean, this is end. It's a reminder for me. Well, like, I'm I'm shaking inside just just from the last part of that speech that went across. Because this is a rela- reality. People are going to be in hell for good flowery speech, but they didn't match their speech with their actions. I'm afraid. I'm only doing it because Allah commands. If Allah sends somebody else to ask you to have more knowledge, and they say, okay, we love the Imam, and they already got a portion of them, <laughs> don't like me. And he has more knowledge and they want to collapse, I'll benefit. And my risk could be another way. This is only for Allah's sake. They're not paying me enough. Even if it was free and I had my own money, it's not enough, you know, to do it for anything other than Allah. You gotta have some fear because of Allah, you don't know. Only Allah has a little bit of what's deep in the heart. I pray about the time of God amongst those who fear him. Let me cut the first thing off first. No, not bad.